Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, The Real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. Like I told you right now, I was once the problem. Now what I'm seeking to do, how do I right my wrong? How do I get back? How do I get these young knuckleheads to stop picking up their brick, making that multi-billion dollar prison system their permanent address? Crime doesn't pay. If I can change, anybody can change. Today, what I'm going to talk about is this. Right now is Luke Stevens, you know, on Vlad TV with Cavario. Uh, right now is he making a hell of a statement. And then what I had to do is I had to go back and he did an interview a few years ago. You know what I'm saying? On Queen Flip. And even right now is, that's how we got in contact. Because he did the Queen Flip interview. And before it was released, what he did was he reached out to me. So approximately three years ago, three and a half years ago, you know, he out there and he was do he did a Queen Flip interview and he was talking like very cocky, very arrogant, talking about different things. And what I'm saying is he still had that, like, he wanted to protect like you know what I'm saying, Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols and Bobo and his legacy. But once again, he tried to throw me under the bus. So what I'm going to do is right now is I'm going to let you listen to what he's saying in regards to what Cavario in his recent interview. And when Cavario asked him, he asked him a key question. Listen closely. What did he say? Did you know Brian Gibbs well? No. Okay, um, you, you, you sit back and think about it. Do you know Brian Glaze Gibbs well? No. So even right now, that's a lie. Because once again, over the last few years, right now it's, we've been corresponding, calling one another. And sometimes he called me up and give me stories. Yo, Glaze, man, you know, hey, can you check on this? Or can you do a story about that? But once again, here it is. I'm talking about right now is 2003. February, this man asked you, do you know Brian Glaze Gibbs? No. Mm, interesting. But once again, we got each other. You know, we call each other. We talk to each other. Right now, we're shit, how often? But you know what? Like I say, I'm glad. Because once again, you remember when you reached out to me? When you did the Queen Flip? Shout out to Queen Flip. When you did that interview and you sat there, I don't know whether you was tipsy or not, but you gave that hell of an interview. And you was promoting, you know, right now in the story. And what you was doing is you somebody asked you right now, I think G asked you about Fat Cat. You know, people are saying that he told, well, you said I talked to Pappy, and Pappy said he didn't tell. That's BS. The bottom line is right now, everybody and their damn mother know that Fat Cat made a damn deal. Everybody. So you want to act like you don't know. Let's sit back and think about it. Right now, what you told me way back when. When you got on, when you called me up after the Queen Flip interview before it dropped, yo man, you know, you know, I know right now was this what they told me? I, I you know, like I say, but I say, bro, listen, man, my case didn't have nothing to do with you. The same thing that he you say as far as right now with on um, Cavario in regards to you know you went to trial first, he tried that same BS with me, but already remember he already had twenty five to life for the drug charge that you went to trial and you tried to take for him. Now he tried to get me to go to trial first for the CCE, okay, and everything else. And then you're going to come up there, even right here in this Queen Flip interview, you said, I wasn't facing nothing. Wow. I, I wasn't facing nothing. You know, let's get real, man. And I look at your story. Luke, you've been down, and you, like I say, with Cat for a long time. And even right now, it's like you say, you didn't know me, but I came to see you. Why a person, if I don't know you or whatever, I come to see you. But you say, I'm coming to see you to get in good with Kat. Bro, I'm already there. You in jail. Sit back and think about it. When you went to jail, you was a drug addict. You was a junkie. You was getting high off the supply. A major, major no-no. But you clean up well. So the difference right now, bro, even when you did that, that, that American gangster, you still got that dope fiend drug addict look. But you want to get up on the couch like, you know, right now, you made a few dollars, bought you some red bottom, and you made a couple of films. But you want to get up there and acting like you forgot about your past. Let he or she, while sin, cast the first stone. So even with that being said, 
You know it better than anybody. How many deals you made? The bottom line is right now, why? Cat been in jail, what, how many years? Okay, going on 38 years. Even Bobo that made a deal did like about what, 15, 16, 17 years? Jug, 25 years or more. Pappy, life. How did you get off? Okay, how did you get off? Everybody else got slammed except for you. How? Let's you know, let's go deeper than that. Who is Alley Cat? Right now is guess what? Like you talk about paperwork. Folks, listen, man. Don't let people trick you with this paperwork stuff. What you have is right now, you got bold snitch that people know about it, and you got sneaky snitch. Loop. Let me say right now, how long have you been a sneaky snitch? Since the 80s? You in and out of jail or they violate? Get out of here, man. Get out of here, bro. Like I said right now, is off the record, what you told me. You know, Cat told you right now when y'all caught that case, yo, make a deal and go home. You know what I'm saying? You can get some, you can get some, you know what I'm saying, pussy. And then right now, you know they're going to violate you eventually. And you got to come back in. But tell them anything. Make a deal. Get out of here, man. Y'all been snitching before I came to Queens. But let, let's listen to what you have to say in regards to on Queen Flip. said that they was getting ready to get their deals what they told me so when they was getting ready to get the deals the story that was told to me was a lawyer came and said brian gibbs has gone in so you have no more deals by the time they said brian graves was finished or oh, brian gibbs and like i said i'm not there this is what's told to me um even the girls had cases it's like, yo, nigga, they was going to give us 12 years. This nigga wasn't facing shit. He went in. His story was, hey, he wanted to split the case. I mean, he probably got the story from my story, right? Their story is, the nigga wants some money. Give me X amount of money and I'll, I'll rock it out. Like, nigga, where's the money you've been hustling with? Like, I'm not supposed to pay we got the case together, we got the case together. So, as far as his, uh, uh, I mean, I've heard that he gets busy, or used to. Hopefully he's not doing that anymore. Um, I never was around him. He came to visit me while I was locked up. But you know, you're playing the game. So, you come in to visit the people, make everyone happy, and you're getting in. We talked to the niece, let me talk to the niece. We talked to the niece, told on her too. I think she ended up getting three years. So basically, according to them, they was getting a deal. And um, when he turned himself in, or not turned himself in, when he went into witness protection, he changed all that. So my thing with, with him is like, it's cool to tell your story, but it's like, and again, he got that voice so he'll tell stories of stories where he wasn't around like he was there you understand what i'm well, saying he was around. we don't want to we don't want to how do i know he wasn't around okay. because, because the fact is that you came in when everyone was in jail so you couldn't have been around for everything because you didn't even know where you were you came in uh while we was locked up uh whatever you was doing you was doing Whatever you was hustling, you was hustling. I don't know what you was hustling. I don't know what you was making. I don't know what you was doing. But how he came to visit you then in New York? No, no, no. I said I don't know what he was doing as far as like how much money he's making, where he's hustling at. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know where his spots is at. And I don't know particularly exactly what he's doing because I'm in jail. So it's not like he's coming to jail and telling me what's going on. He's just like, hey, you're all right? Need something, blah, 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 blah. Just making his rounds, keeping his. It was all that was politics. It's not like, yo, that's my man. I'm gonna go see him. Yo, that's Fatty's man. Let me go see him and make sure I was all right. So he's not no, he's not no dummy. He's a smart individual. Like I'm saying, he knows how to how to do his thing. Matter of fact, they, okay, couple of points there. Like he's saying, first of all, he came out with something a screenplay. 
Like, you know, he got like, you know, something that he's trying to shop called the round table. Wow. Called the round table. And what he trying to do is what he say that I was in the round. OK, so you're right. I came in after the fact. But the difference is right now, when you speak about the round table, Fat Cat right now started the round table. OK, Corley wasn't part of the round table. Luke was not part of the round table. These are the key individuals. Initially, the round table was consists of Fat Cat, Howard Pappy Mason, Kim Suprema Griff, and Gerald Prince Miller. Then, Bug Out, Emery Matthew, and Brian Glaze Gibbs. All of us had, what, $40,000 round table ring that came from Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols. But once again, why didn't his lawyer soldier, Luke Steven, get a round table ring? Why? Okay, and, and now yeah, in his own word, he took the case. He went to trial first. I wasn't going to do that. You're not going to use me as a human guinea pig. Luke did. But once again, even after he went to the trial and he won and he tried to go to trial and basically right now we're trying to take the weight for Cat, but Cat got convicted. Did Cat say, man, this dude's a lawyer brother. Let me give him a round table ring. Nothing. Why? Because Luke was a drug addict. Luke was a fiend, a crackhead, eating garbage out the trash. You know, like I told you, God is good because everybody can change. I went from being a so-called killer to being a law-abiding, productive citizen, a, a child of God. So Luke went from being a drug dealer to a, a drug addict, you know what I'm saying, crackhead, to being a filmmaker now. So change is good, but I'm not going to watch some cartoon character, you know what I'm saying, get up here and act like he's squeaky clean, that he was this, that. You know what? We all was wrong. Because we all poisoned and destroyed our community. And when I'm saying I took it a step deeper because it was a lot of violence represented towards me. And like he said, I wasn't facing nothing. How the heck being accused of having one murder a week from June 87 to November 8, but I wasn't facing nothing. Wow. No. When it, even when I caught the Fed case, I had got indicted. For a murder that I was in Besma, Alabama when it happened, had that hanging over my head. But guess what? I wasn't facing nothing. The, the mo he wasn't facing no time. Get the heck out of here, man. Like I say, here it is. It's three side of a story. You know what I'm saying? Your side, my side, and the truth. So even with that being said, let's get back to you. How were you able to sustain the street all this time? And right now, who is Alley Cat? Let's talk about that. You know, right now is you talk about paperwork. Bingo. Right now, you in some paperwork. And right now, it haven't surfaced, but I heard you out there. Right now, as they got you, you've been cooperating. You've been telling. You've been giving up information since the 80s. Come on. That's probably why you only did as less time as you did. A lot of stuff go deep in the rigid surface, folks. And like I say right now, like I told you, let he or she who not sin cast the first stone. And right now, is only thing I want to say is this, man. Luke, tell the truth. Luke, tell the truth. Luke, tell the truth, man. The truth should set you free. Hit the like button. Subscribe, share. Brian Glaze Gibbs. The real Brian Glaze Gibbs.